had to join a gym recently because I had not been called bro in a while. Just wanted to check in. And uh, no, I had to join a gym because I have this condition um, that I think is kind of serious. I have this condition where when I'm with my wife and we're being intimate, I'm too weak to be on top. Um, <laughs> is that a condition? I don't know. I, it's been very difficult for my family. Um, I can't be on top uh, physically. I can handle it emotionally. Not strong enough. I'm not like afraid of heights or something. I'm like too weak physically. Um, it's still nice. We still have a nice time. It's not, I mean, it's, it's nice inside. It's not probably not nice to look at, but it's like from, <laughs> from the inside, it's lovely. From the outside, it's like, oh God, if those timbers give way, that walrus is going to crush that poor woman. We only have two choices we can choose from in the bedroom. We can choose from Lady on Top or the one she calls Shaky Arms. So that's what we do. <laughs> so I joined this gym is the point of the story. And I just want to be able to hold up my own weight in this relationship. So I joined a gym and uh, it, was, it was really difficult actually because I had not been to a gymnasium since I was in high school and I assumed that the kids who hung out there and were not nice in high school are still there and uh, they're not. They are all real estate agents and they're hanging out brew pubs. But <laughs> at the, I was worried that I was going to walk in and be like, he's back, get him! I don't know. Um, and I know it is weird to hear me say that something in life makes me anxious because on stage I seem so confident and well-dressed and like a great writer and that's fair. But... But off stage, I am like, yeah, yeah. Off stage, I'm like a bunny rabbit. So I was like, oh, it's gonna be so hard. But then I walked in, I was like, don't nobody look at me. And then I got into the locker room and I saw something beautiful that changed my opinion of the whole experience. And I hope I can help you. If you are embarrassed about going to the gym, I hope this will help you. I got in the locker room and I saw an older gentleman using the hand dryer on the wall to blow dry his junk. And yeah, it was great. It was exactly what I needed. It was so perfect. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was like a message from the universe because I was worried that people were judging me and he was telling me this is a place of self-improvement, not of judgment. <laughs> right? That's the message there. Is like, you know, he was, you know, he's saying we're all here just trying to do our best. Like, I just want to be stronger so I can finally try missionary. And <laughs> he just doesn't want to die with a rash on his leg. So we're all... Doing our best. I'm not much of a message comic, but if I had one, it would be like, live each day like it might be your last and dry your balls like no one's watching. <laughs> That's what I think, yeah. I should clarify, in case you're trying to picture this. Sorry, it's uh, the old ones, the big white ones with the metal nozzle, not the new ones where you dip. <laughs> yeah, totally different story, right? Yeah, if I walk in on somebody teabagging an air blade in the corner, that's worse. 